lot of times people say to me, I want to see more good news on TV. Yes. So when you see someone who goes above and beyond for other people, never seems like they get enough recognition they deserve, here's your chance yes. to do that. All this week at 6 a.m., we're highlighting people who do wonderful things for other people. And the best thing is that we asked all of you out there, what do you think? Who do you think deserves this summer shout out? And you responded. Today, one of them is in Wakefield. It's not Chris Anderson, although he does do a lot of good for a lot of people. <laughs> but you're, Chris, you're about to surprise this guy who's getting this award today. Is that good news, though, when someone's banging on your door at 6.15 in the morning waking you up, right? I don't know. But it's for a great person who has done so many wonderful things again. We are in Wakefield for our 7 News Summer Shoutout. So we're going to hustle over to the door of Patrick Sullivan. Patrick has, has done some awesome, amazing things for the town of Wakefield. He is an Eagle Scout, but it's the things that he has been doing over the past couple of years to help bring a tradition that is so special to the people in Wakefield, their 4th of July parade. They lost it a couple of years ago. So we're here this morning to present him with a two-night stay at the Hermitage up in Vermont. We have to whisper a little bit because we want to surprise him. We're hoping he opens the door. Um, his father's in on it, so his father assures us that he's awake this morning. But Patrick has no idea what's about to happen. Let's, he's going up to the Hermitage with uh, three guests, two adults, two children, all of the meals covered, all of the fun activities. I hear him. Patrick? Yes. Hey, Patrick. I'm Chris Anderson from 7 News. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You look a little surprised. Uh, yes. <laughs> so I want to tell you this now. You're live on television. You're live on 7 News Today in New England right now. So say hello to uh, the <laughs> New England area this morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you are our summer shout out this morning. We are going around to different places this week, recognizing wonderful individuals who have done so many wonderful things. Your scoutmaster actually nominated you, and we read through his email and really wanted to commend you and thank you for all that you've done. And we'll let you get, get, a, get your wits about you. You look a little shocked right now. So take a look at what Patrick Sullivan has done that makes him so deserving of our 7 News Summer Shoutout. At 19 years old, Patrick Sullivan took on a task that no one else would. Patrick felt that the parade needed to be there for kids who, you know, like him, lived in Wakefield and, and should be able to experience the parade. Back in 2013, the town's 4th of July parade, which is the largest one in the state, was canceled after the committee in charge of it disbanded. Determined not to let anyone rain on the parade again, Patrick decided to take action. Devoted a lot of time to it, and after a two-year absence, we brought the parade back this year. Richard Robinson, who was Patrick's scoutmaster and later worked on the parade committee, says some people in town had their doubts about the parade's comeback. I think a lot of people expected that with a 19-year-old kid leading the parade, that we were going to get something, but it wasn't going to be like it was in the past. Um, and those people really didn't know Pat Sullivan. Uh, if he was bringing the parade back, it was coming back in all its grandeur. Leading to a day many won't forget. Everybody was just so thankful and so grateful to have the parade back. A job well done by a young man Richard Robinson believed deserved a shout out. This is something he did from the heart and, and truly believed in and, and did a great job on it. He really did a great job on it. Every parade needs a leader. Patrick, you're the leader here. Uh, why did you do it? What made you want to take this on? Uh, well, I had watched the parade every year as a kid, and I had really loved going to the parade every year. And it was really, it just made me sad when the parade had stopped, and um, no one had really stepped up to get it going again. And so I asked around, got some people together, and we made it happen, and it went great. Well, what we're making happen, happen is you are going up, you, two adults, two children, to the Hermitage up in Vermont. You're going to go up there and enjoy a wonderful two days, three days, two nights, and you're gonna, all of your food, all of your activities, we're going to cover it. You, can, you have a whole year to use it, so if you want to go in the winter and do some skiing, or I know you're a, you're a scout, you're an Eagle Scout, yeah. you can go <laughs> do some camping in the summer. So this is just a great opportunity and a way of saying thanks for all that you've done. Oh, great. Thank you so much. So Patrick's still in shock. <laughs> We're going to let him, him regroup a little bit and, and go get mad at his family inside for keeping it a secret. <laughs> but at 6.50, 6.55 this morning, we're going to check back in with Patrick and learn a little bit about, about this uh, remarkable young man and all the wonderful things he's doing here in the town of Wakefield. 